It is March 21st, and I had to close my business today. Welcome back to A Hobby Time in the Murder Basement. Today we're not in the murder basement. We are up in my uh, attic studio. Sorry about the the cam shaky camera and the uh, not the best vocal recording. My wife is taking a nap downstairs and I didn't want to disturb her trying to break out all of the other recording gear and set everything up. So I just figured I'd uh, do my vlog up here today. Um, yeah, so the mayor of St. Louis and the guy from the county, they announced that they were doing a stay-at-home order for St. Louis and St. Louis County starting Monday, uh, and it's Saturday, but in an effort to reduce the amount of people through the store, we shut down Saturdays last, uh, starting last week, um, this was going to be my first Saturday off. Uh, and instead I spent my Saturday at my shop closing it down. That was really hard. It was way harder than I expected it to be. You never wake up and say, you know what I want to be for the rest of my life? A picture framer. It's something that you are born into, your family did it, or you luck into because you find a weird opportunity and it just sort of fits. Um, most people I know who are picture framers are... To say that we're freaks is wrong. But we're definitely outsiders. We don't really fit everywhere. We like to work, but we like to interact with people. You know, we, we kind of are the jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none type people. Which is probably why I love hobbying and painting models and stuff like that uh, as well. It's it's all the same spotted in your brain. And ten years ago when we bought the shop, I knew that it was going to be something that I could do. I grew up in small businesses. But I figured that this would be... this would have a different sort of thing. I figured we, we, we would either burn out and just shut down, you know, because like nobody's framing things anymore, or we would, um, it would launch us into the next thing, like building furniture or, you know, like there's no, nobody's getting rich off of picture framing anymore. And that is an interesting place to be. It has done some um, amazing things for my family. It has supported so many people over the years, and uh, and and to all of our clients who have used us, I can't I can't even begin to thank you for the amount of support you've given us over the years. And there's a few of you in particular that um, I've reached out and talked to, and and I just yeah I do. I love you guys. Thank you so much. This one hurt. This hurt a lot. I think minimally we're going to be closed for two weeks. Uh, I think that that's the smartest thing to do. We should have been doing that probably a week and a half ago. Uh, I'm not going to lie, this entire week felt like I was playing Russian roulette every time somebody walked through the door. And living that way uh, was taking its toll on me mentally, for sure. It is nothing in comparison to having the rug swept out from under you like this. This is this is all new. I was kind of hoping that closing our business would be kind of on our own terms. Like, oh, you know, we're done with it, you know? Like I said earlier. Right now, well, you know, we're we're in a good position to come back. We still have orders to do. We couldn't get them all done. <laughs> we had a hard well, pushed hard to. And we still have stuff that is you know needs to be worked on who knows when we're going to get back and when people are going to feel comfortable to come out we've had multiple customers when we call them and said hey your stuff is ready to pick up they said 
uh, do you mind holding it there until this whole thing blows over? And um, to them, I, I, you know, I always say yes. Like my, my goal is to make the customer <laughs> feel the most comfortable. So I guess there's going to be more hobby content. I will have more time for it. Uh, I am not the type of guy who sits around and mopes anymore. To give you a little bit of history of me, uh, I've always probably had, um, you know, ADD and the fact that uh, sitting down and focusing is a little hard. I get distracted really easily. A good friend of mine, an old, an old boss, a colleague of mine, called me a dilettante. Uh, where I just jump in and out of hobbies and interests without a whole lot of investment um, because I really like to learn. I never got to do college, which is something that um, I do regret. Not regret enough to like change my whole life to do it over again, but um, uh, I definitely feel like I missed some experiences. I will say this. I partied my ass off at colleges so if that is what most people are bringing out of it I think I got a pretty good college experience um but uh I love to learn and so so I don't really sit well and back when I used to drink uh sitting playing video games stuff like that was very easy I could just kind of zone out and it was no problem but um I've been sober or mainly sober I'm not gonna not, I'm not a saint, but um, I've been mainly sober for about two years. Uh, I had a really bad bleeding ulcer a couple years ago, and um, it didn't like I wasn't on death's door, but I was not doing well. I was really ill, and uh, and I had to make some life choices. I I joke that I'm like the song Bob from No Effects, and now I'm figuring it out. And so um, I don't I don't sit well. I I don't I'm I find myself being antsy. Uh, and ha- having unspent energy that, you know, help if I, if I don't get out and do something, you know, if I don't hobby, if I don't, don't try to expand my brain, I feel like, like I'm running out of air. It gives me a lot of anxiety. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to focus on this channel. I'm going to focus on painting some more stuff. I'm going to reach out to, uh, my guy who I do commissions for here and see if he's financially in a spot where he can do do something. Um, if he can't, I you know totally get it. I couldn't do it right now either. But you know, just trying to figure out ways to help suppl- supplement the like loss of a job because this is uh, it's gonna it's gonna take some really clever clever ways to get through this. And I still don't trust that the small business loan stuff's gonna apply to me the way that I wanted to. I mean, I'll do whatever it takes to get back in the swing of it, but, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just nervous. I don't quite trust it yet. That's about it. I'm just gonna sit back, hunker down, and we'll, we'll make it back. We've got this. We are, we've never been through anything worse than this. Uh, you know, Andy, my business partner, he was, you know, as we were yesterday, as we were wrapping up work, he's like, what if we have to close? Like, what does that look like? I was like, man, uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what it looks like. I haven't not worked in my entire life. This is, um, I've never even had a two week vacation really, except for once. And half of that time I was driving, so that's not really vacation, that's driving. So this is going to be weird. Uh, I basically just wanted to check in. I did want to say one thing while we're all on, like, stay-at-home orders. We have to be good to each other. Um, I had a couple, saw a couple things on Facebook that... um, you know, really bothered me, uh, I need everybody to know that it's all right, it's absolutely all right to, to feel loss, we're all in this together, and no one gets to dictate how you feel the loss of, of your community, of all that, it's, it's emotionally devastating, I, I'm like, 
halfway between crying and laughing maniacally because I have no idea how to actually feel about this. We'll all get on each other's nerves. We're going to be on Facebook so much more, and that place is not a healthy environment. And you need to remember that, that it brings out the worst in all of us. We're all in this together, and everything that we are going through is going to be... I don't know. This is this is we're in uncharted waters here, and uh, and we don't have a map, and it's a cloudy night, so we can't even look at the stars. Just gotta take it day by day. Gotta be good to each other and support each other. Um, so I love all of you. I don't know you. I know some of you, but even the ones I don't know. My heart goes out to you. This is absolutely brutal. And hopefully on the other side of this, we come out with a healthier America that has better social systems set up to handle stuff like this. Uh, A better plan for the next one, because this isn't going to be the last one. The fact that this hasn't happened in so long is um, amazing. And I, I can't, like, I can't even begin to describe how fortunate I feel on that. But here we are. So I'm going to sign out. I'll check in in a couple days. I will be recording some new stuff. Uh, hopefully I'll get some interviews in. Uh, so any of you hobbyists who want to be uh, interviewed, reach out. Let's do some collabs while I got time. Help me not go insane. <laughs> and, uh, you know... Any of you small business owners, if you need to re- reach out and, you know, see how you're going to handle it, want to talk about it, let's do it. It's, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here for you. And, um, and hopefully we, we all make it through this together and we make it through. We can be as about as whole as we can expect at the, at the end. So thank you all so much for sticking with us. I hate asking for subscribers, but please like and subscribe. Uh, my goal is to be able to monetize this channel by the end of the year. I've got a long way to go. A long way to go. So, uh, share, like, subscribe, help me out. Because right now I'm, I feel like I'm in the middle of the ocean without a life preserver. And... That's a horrible feeling. (laughs) All right, everybody. Be good to each other. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And, um, yeah, we'll make it. We got this. See you next time.